Hello everyone, let's do some basic two variable system applications and then we'll apply it to three variables and actually make this a little more interesting. So for these two variable systems, really for any word problem, you're going to first start off by defining some variables. We're going to have to identify what we don't know and what we're trying to find. Once we create a system of equations, we'll be able to solve it pretty quickly. You can use substitution or elimination. It depends on sort of how the equations are set up, but then you do need to make sure and go back and like, did you label what you actually were supposed to label? Did you find what everything you were supposed to find? And sometimes even though you know how to do some of the algebra, people just don't answer the question. So be careful and follow all the steps. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna define some variables. This says Angelie and Jenny are selling cheesecakes and they could buy French silk cheesecakes and strawberry cheesecakes. So let's do F for French silk. That sounds good, I don't know what that is. And then we'll do S for strawberry cheesecakes. Okay. And it looks like you sold one French silk cheesecake and 10 strawberries for 187, and four French silks and five strawberries for 153. Pretty much all of these equations are going to feel very similar. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is say, I sold one French silk cheesecake plus, I don't know how much a strawberry cheesecake costs, but I know I bought 10 of them. So I, if it was $1, it'd be 10 bucks. If it was $2, it'd be 20 bucks. I have to do 10 times whatever an S strawberry cheesecake costs. So one French silk cheesecake plus 10 strawberry cheesecakes, and those add up to 187. Then they told me something else. They said four of those French cheesecakes and five of the strawberry cheesecakes will add up to 153. Once you get to here, it should feel like any other system you've solved a million times. Um, you could do substitution or elimination. If I was going to do substitution, I'd probably use, I'd get F by itself, but I'm going to just uh, multiply this by negative 4. So I'll do that down here. Uh, that didn't work. I'm going to multiply everything in this by negative 4. I'll do elimination. So this will be negative 4F and 4 times 10 is 40. So negative 40S and 4 times 187. Let me get my calculator out. 4 times 187. Oops, 187 is 748, so 748. Okay, and I'm multiplying by negative four, so that's negative 748. Okay, I'm trying to get rid of F, the way I'm doing it. Uh, I multiply this entire row by negative four to create this new equation. Now those cancel out, and you get negative 40 and five make negative 35S, and on the other side, I need to now add negative 748 plus 153, negative 595, negative 595. And then the last thing I need to do is divide both sides by negative 35. Obviously, we're not going to sell a negative amount of cheesecake. So if we get a negative number, something's wrong. But we get positive 17. So S is 17. So what's that mean? What is the cost of each? Well, it must mean that S costs $17. A strawberry cheesecake is $17. Now I can go back to either equation and I can solve for F. So I'll use the top one. 10 times 17 equals 187, and 10 times 17 is 170. And then when I subtract 170 on both sides, 187 minus 117, I get 17 there as well. So they're both $17. Hmm. So if I do 4 times 17 plus 5 times 17, I'm plugging into this one, I should get 153. 153. And just to make sure, 17 plus 10 times 17 is 187. So it works in both equations. I know I did it right. They both cost $17. And I want you to always write a sentence as a word problem. So both the French silk and strawberry cheesecakes, let's give myself, give myself a little more room, cost $17. Okay. A word problem should have a word answer. So I'm going to write a sentence. Both the French silk and strawberry cheesecakes cost $17, okay? That's it. We're going to write a, a system. We're going to solve the system. Not a big deal. Let's try another one. The school that Dan goes to is selling tickets to a play, and on the first day, they sold three senior citizen tickets and six student tickets for a total of $60. So let's say, um, how do I, what, if I use S, that's going to be a problem. So let's do C for senior citizen. You can just use X and Y if you want. And an S will be a student ticket. One second. 
Okay? Uh, student ticket. C for senior student, citizen, S for student ticket. So my first equation, I would say three senior citizens plus six students gives you 60. Remember, we're using C for citizen. Uh, also, $102 on the second day, six senior citizen tickets and six student tickets, and that got $102. So we have a two-variable system, and this one's pretty easy to set up because six and six, if I just make everything opposites, now I'll be in pretty good shape. Um, I'll get negative 3C equals negative 42, and then I'll divide both sides by negative 3 for a senior citizen ticket. So this is $14, and now I'll work backwards. 3 times 14 plus 6S equals 60. I'm just plugging this in right there instead of C. It's 14. So 42 plus 6S is $60. Subtract 42 on both sides, you get 18, and then divide both sides by 6, S is 3. So student ticket is $3. And again, these are very easy to check. Just plug them into the two equations, make sure you got them right. 3 times 14 plus 6 times 3. Oop, that's not a 3. Should give you 60. Yes. 6 times 14 plus 6 times 3 should give you 102. I know I did it right. Great. Okay. I'll do one more with you. I'll leave the other two for practice. Let's do one more just like that. This says Heather and Dan are selling flower bulbs and you buy packages of tulips. So T for tulips. How many bags of tulips do we sell? And D for daffodils. Nope, that's how you spell daffodils. Five packages of tulip bulbs and one package of daffodil bulbs cost $35 two packages of tulip bulbs and 10 packages of daffodil bulbs are 110. See how we're just reading this English and we're making it a math equation. Um, so what variable do I want to get rid of? I will think uh, two doesn't go into five, but I could multiply this guy by negative 10 and then this would be negative 10D. So negative 50 and negative 10 and then 350. And again, that's negative, negative 350. Okay. So when I do that, uh, those cancel out, and you have negative 48t equals uh, negative 240, right? Negative 350. I'm going to need a calculator for the next part anyway. Negative 350 plus 110. And then I'll do 240 divided by negative 48 and get 5. <clears throat> t equals 5. So that means we're going to need, let's see, find the cost of one package. T is a pack of uh, tulips must cost five bucks, and then I'll do five times, I'll plug it into this one, plus D equals 35, 25 plus D equals 35. That means a pack of daffodils must cost 35 minus 25 is $10. So a pack of tulips cost $5, and a pack of daffodils costs $10. And I'll check this one just to be sure. Five times five plus 10, so I'm plugging it in here. Should be 35, yep. Two times five plus 10 times 10. That 110, yep. So I know I did it right. As long as I created my equations right, I solved them right. So you go ahead and finish up the last two, the keys on Schoology. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe.